When we arrived at the Internado Madre Laura School in La Guajira, Colombia, we were treated to an amazing welcoming ceremony. This was the first time I laid eyes on Darwin. I could immediately tell there was something special about him. He's not a follower. He's definitely a leader. And he's not just a leader. I sense he has a very strong will. But I also sensed he really needed Jesus. Of course, these were my personal hunches. Over the next couple of days, my initial impressions of his personality seemed to match his behavior. And because of his leadership qualities, I felt if he became born again, he could greatly impact his community for the gospel. And on our last full day at the school, Four girls professed faith in Jesus and agreed to be baptized at 12.30 after lunch by the water towers. 12.30 came and went, and the girls never showed up. I kept waiting. Then Juan Carlos, Rebecca, and Darwin showed up just to hang around. When I saw Darwin, I decided to evangelize him as Juan Carlos translated. I asked if he knew how to go to heaven. He gave a flippant answer, something like, I'll find out after I die. I warned him that if he waited till then, it would be too late. After sharing the gospel, he decided to follow Jesus. But that felt incomplete to me. I already had four buckets of water waiting. I asked Darwin if he wanted to be baptized immediately, and he agreed. After his baptism, I told Darwin that he's a leader and he now has the responsibility to tell others about Jesus. I asked him to spread the word to the rest of the school that we would baptize anyone who was serious about following Jesus after having heard the gospel and come to faith in Jesus. To our surprise, within minutes, Darwin brought his friend Hosman. Then more and more came. That day, we baptized a total of six people. I think the last five heard about the baptism because Darwin spread the word. But that's not all. Hours before we left that school, we were treated to a send-off ceremony and Darwin stepped up to explain what happened to him over the past few days. He broke down in tears, sharing that he had struggled with drugs, but now God had saved him. Por todo, por... I've learned a lot. Un día diferente. A different day. Con ustedes. A different day to be with you guys. Por las tardes. The evenings. Siempre ha estado con ustedes mantenido a, a los parte, I was, I parte was, de nuestro interno. You guys, been, you guys stayed really close to us. Y, Les quería agradecer por todo, por toda la palabra de Dios. Aunque existe el diablo, me, me, yo, he, yo he cometido muchos errores. 
the devil has tempted me with with, with, uh, with drugs. Muchas gracias por Pete. Thank you for Pete. Por todo. For everything. Thank you for the sister Sita. preparando para grandes cosas, Señor. Vas a levantar un soldado aquí, Señor, en este desierto para ti, Señor. Las cosas viejas ya pasaron, Señor. Y tú nos perdonas, nos amas y nos das vida nueva, Señor. Nos das un nuevo comienzo, Señor. Nos permites nacer de nuevo, Señor. Sé que no sea creación, pero ahora Él es Hijo de Dios, Señor. Y Él ahora va a venir para ti, Señor. Te va a servir, Señor. Va a ser un hombre, Señor, que te va a ser digno, Señor. Damos gracias por tu vida, Señor. Te alabamos, Señor, por este milagro que estás haciendo, Señor. Eres un ejemplo de tu espíritu, Señor, y cómo transformas, Padre. Cómo tú tocas la vida y nos transformas. Gracias, Señor, por soltarle las manos de Satanás, Señor. De alguna tentación que ya no más, Señor, te pertenece, te pertenece al, al Satanás, sino te pertenece a ti, Dios. Ahora él va a amar y te va a servir el resto de su vida, Señor. Que así sea, Padre. Que sea un ejemplo, Señor, para todos, Señor. Le damos gracias, Padre, por la vida de él, Señor. Lo amamos. Gracias, Señor, por su vida. En nombre de ti, Jesús, Señor, te aclaramos que él es tuyo y te pertenece, Señor. Y que no lo vas a soltar, Señor. Gracias, Padre. I, I also wanted to tell everybody I know I'm a little crazy but inside I'm a good person I'm a good son I have dreams to be able to progress in life The director Sita has really encouraged me. Yo quería retirarme. I wanted to quit and leave the school. Estoy en grado 11. I'm in eleventh grade. Pero, pero, Dios, but God, muy grande. He's really great. Gracias por todo, Pete. Thank you for everything, Pete. Por, por traer, to bring equipo. this team. Y cuando seas viejo, te voy a recordar. And when I get old, I'm always going to remember you. you want. Gracias por todo. Amen. Amen. Gracias por todo. This is entirely uncharacteristic of a personality like Darwin's, especially in that culture. Strong men don't cry, and certainly not before a crowd. Do you ever wonder if you're making a difference? Does the gospel change people? Darwin is evidence that God does save through the message of the cross. It can have profound effects very quickly. Darwin's story is very encouraging. Don't give up. Of course, we understand the parable of the soils. So please keep praying for Darwin. Thank you.